Aloha, everyone. So we're coming up on around eight months since the Big Lahaina fire. And if you follow my channel, you know that I've released several aerial tours of the part of Lahaina that was impacted by the fire. But even and I have not been into the restricted area to see it from the ground with my own eyes. That is until today. So today I was given permission to access some of the commercial areas around Front Street. And in this video, I'm going to take you on a driving tour to see what kind of progress we're making. Let's go take a look. So just like my aerial tours, we're going to start on the far south side of Lahaina Town. We just turned onto Front Street and are passing the entrance to the Puamana community. By the way, I'll provide timestamps in the description down below to different landmarks that we're going to pass along the tour. As we round the first corner here on Front Street, we see our first signs of progress, with the crew here working to clear one of the properties. According to the Army Corps of Engineers, there's already been 461 properties cleared of their ash and debris. So we really have made good progress when you consider the fact that there's only around 1,500 more lots that need to be cleared. Based on those numbers, we're almost 25% complete already. Now, most of the properties that have been cleared are in residential areas. And we're coming up on an area that has several properties that have been completely cleared of their ash and debris, and they have piles of gravel waiting to be spread. The gravel is actually used as erosion control, and it's the last step in this phase of the cleanup before the properties are handed back over to the owners. So I'm told that the crews are completing the cleanup of around 11 properties per day on average, and that we are on track to finish the majority of the cleanup before the end of the year. There are around 500 men and women in Lahaina Town working to clear properties on a daily basis. The majority are hired by local contractors, with approximately 71% being Hawaiian. With the cultural and historical significance of Lahaina Town in mind, it is very important that local people are included in the cleanup to help monitor the process. And it helps the local economy by keeping the FEMA money within the community. So I know that to most people, Front Street in this condition is mostly unrecognizable, but I'll do my best to guide you along the way. And if you watch all the way to the end of the video, I'll show you what a portion of this drive looked like before the fire. You will notice that there are a handful of homes in this area that seem to have escaped the fire without much damage. But keep in mind that utilities have not been fully restored, so without power and clean water, these properties are mostly uninhabitable. On the left, we're going to be coming up on the Lahaina Shores condominium complex. Lahaina Shores survived the fire mostly undamaged, with the exception of some wind damage that was sustained the day of the fire. Just past Lahaina Shores, on the left, we're coming up on the shops at 505 Front Street. This is the area that included restaurants like Spanky's, Betty's Beach Cafe, and Pacifico on the beach. It's also where you would have found the Feast at Lele Luau. Now coming up on the right hand side, we are about to pass the cultural corridor that is called Moku'ula. This area was once surrounded by a pond that was fed by a freshwater spring. The land is considered sacred, and it was once the site of King Kamehameha's royal palace. The governor recently announced that the state intends to give this land back into trust of the people of Lahaina so the area can be restored. And speaking of King Kamehameha, we're about to pass the King Kamehameha Elementary School. Unfortunately, the school did receive substantial damage during the fire, but the good news is that the Army Corps of Engineers has already constructed a replacement school located near the Kapalua Airport, and it has the capacity for up to 600 students. Okay, so coming up on the left is Canal Street, which is also the start of the world-famous banyan tree. As you can see, the portion of the banyan tree that sits right along Front Street did receive quite a bit of damage. 
but the portion of the tree that's near the old Lahaina courthouse is showing lots of sign of life with nice green leaves. On the other side of the street here, you're looking at one of the school buildings. And of course, straight ahead is the Lahaina Harbor. As we turn onto Wharf Street, you're gonna see the old Lahaina Courthouse historical building with the wall still standing, but everything from the roof and inside completely burnt out. From what I can see, they have removed all the damaged boats from the harbor, but they'll have to replace the damaged pilings before the harbor is completely operational again. We're now turning onto Hotel Street and passing what was once the Pioneer Inn. And coming up on the other side of Front Street straight ahead is what was once the Wharf Cinema Center and Shops. This is where you'd find the Lahaina Movie Theater and restaurants like Cool Cat's Cafe, Down the Hatch, and Cap'n Jack's. Now we're turning back onto Front Street and continuing to head north. On the right hand side you can see that we're coming up on the old Baldwin Home Museum historical building. And you can see they've already put some bracing up to keep the walls that are still intact standing. Okay, continuing north on Front Street, we're now coming up on a long stretch of shops and art galleries. On the ocean side of the street, you can see a sailboat that ran aground several months after the fire. Straight ahead on the right hand side, you can see the building that held Mick Fleetwood's restaurant, which was definitely one of my favorites. This is actually a portion of Front Street that I walked almost every day for years. And as you saw in the first 15 seconds of this video, where I showed a before and after comparison, it is pretty much unrecognizable compared to what it once was. We're now coming up on the intersection of Lahaina Luna Road, and on the ocean side of Front Street, you can see the area that once held the Cheeseburger in Paradise restaurant. One of the unanswered questions that still remains is what will the county allow to be rebuilt on the ocean side of Front Street? Many of the properties were built right next to and in some cases over the top of the water. With all the talk of sea level rise and beach erosion on Maui, the county has significantly changed the setback rules for new construction. Now if you ask me, I think property owners should be allowed to rebuild using the exact same footprint they once had but it will be interesting to see what is actually allowed. On the right hand side, we're coming up on the entrance to the Foodland parking lot and where Longy's restaurant once was. This is the Papa Lau Street intersection and on the other side, you can see where the new Tommy Bahama restaurant and the outlets of Maui once stood. I'm told that crews are doing their best to recycle all of the concrete and steel recovered during the cleanup. At the end of this video, I'll show you exactly where they're staging and starting to break down these materials in Lahaina Town. Coming up on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see where the Lahaina United Methodist Church once stood. And we're coming up on the intersection of Front Street and Baker Street. You can actually see the Siemens Hospital Museum on the right as well. We're about to pass the Lahaina Residential Condominiums. We're now passing the area where the Front Street Apartments once stood, and we're coming up on the intersection of Kanui Street and Front Street. As we turn right onto Kanui Street here, you'll see the green construction fence 
that separates the restricted area from Cahoma Village. Cahoma Village is actually the neighborhood that I lived in at the time of the fire. Now, Cahoma Village was a newer neighborhood that was just completed a few years ago, so it did have updated construction codes and building materials, as well as underground electrical, which is likely one of the reasons that contributed to the neighborhood mostly surviving the fire. We actually just passed my house on the left, so you can see just how close we were to the fire. From here, we're gonna jump over to the old Pioneer Mill area on Lahaina Luna Road. This is where a lot of the recycled materials are being broken down. As we drive a little bit farther up the hill, you'll see that this is also the area where the vehicles that were burnt during the fire are being crushed and temporarily stored. I know it can be difficult to see what Lahaina Town looks like after the fire, but we are making steady progress. I also think it's important to remember what Lahaina once was, so I'd like to end the video by sharing a quick one minute clip of the exact same drive we just took down Front Street that was shot about a year before the fire. We're coming up on the banyan tree on the left, and on the right is the Wharf Cinema Center and Shops. Just past the banyan tree on the left, you'll also see the old Pioneer Inn. I think that this video clip is a solid representation of what a typical day looked like in Lahaina Town. It was a beautiful historic town that was lush and tropical and full of life. And though we know it will never be exactly the same, I personally can't wait until the time comes when we can all enjoy a stroll down Front Street once again. Now, if you appreciate the time and energy it takes to put these video updates together, please hit the like button to show your support. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel for consistent, fact-based updates on the progress we're making in Lahaina Town. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Until we see you on the next one, aloha.